<laughs> it's another love don't judge with sugar tits. Hi, sugar tits. Hi, bearing. Hi, bearing. What are you trying to insinuate? I sound like a man. No, you just sounded a little bit glib. The fuck's glib? I think it's a word. It's like, um, it's like annoyed, sort of bad attitude-y. Probably me anticipating the kind of video you're going to show me. Well, lighten up, girl. Okay. That's better. What have you got for us? Well, this is a video about a couple who the dude lets his wife, or encourages his wife, actually, to cheat on him and film it and send him the videos. He wanks to it. Yeah. Ugh. And it's British. So let's go. This is Zoe. She fell in love with Matt. My partner gets with other men when I'm at work. It was early days in their relationship when Matt revealed he wanted Zoe to sleep with other men. Why? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, some blokes are just like that. But why get married to her? I don't know, each to their own, I suppose. But imagine that you get with some bloke and he goes, I want you to fuck other dudes. And film it for me. My personal porn star. I would send you pictures, videos. Inspired by their new lifestyle, Zoe embarked on a new career. My missus is now a porn star. I don't think she's a porn star. She's probably got an OnlyFans. OnlyFans whore, yeah. Yeah. Takes a different calibre of whore to be a porn <laughs> star. <laughs> when did I decide that I wanted to start sleeping with other guys? I suppose it came from you initially. And then when you agreed to it, I was happy with it because obviously like I spoke to you previously, wasn't it? And I'd said I'd constantly been cheated on and things like that. So I was quite happy to find someone who weren't then gonna cheat behind my back. It sounds like a test, doesn't it? Mm. Like, hey, do you wanna fuck other guys? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, you belong to the streets, bitch. He said, I was quite happy I found a missus who wouldn't cheat behind my back. She cheats in front of my back. So he's happy that she's cheating in front of him, not behind his back. I've been cheated on so many times before. <laughs> <laughs> Before that I thought I'd get myself a missus who cheats on me but not behind my back. It's kind of like saying, I really didn't want my kids to be abducted on the way to school, so I chopped them up and buried them in the backyard. It's a bit extreme. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's kind of like one of those things. Like, Do you think in his mind he's getting his nut off, like reclaiming the power? How's he reclaiming the power, though? Well, that's what I'm saying, in his mind, because he's in control of the cheating. In his mind. I know this doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> in his mind. Do you reckon he, like, leaves a list of moves that he wants her to do? Ugh. Like, yeah, grab him by the bollocks. <laughs> Get right up here, son. Get your shag on. Now, finger in the anus, knuckle deep. <laughs> That's so hot. So to start off, I would go out, be with other guys while you were at work. You'd send me pictures with the ocean. Oh, yeah. It was, so then I got involved. something from it. I was involved and I ended up oh. getting basically like amateur porn. You know what I'd be sus about? I mean, I wouldn't be this guy ever anyway. But you know what the real stickler would be for me? You'd come home and you'd go, is there cum on that? <laughs> 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 Invest in a blue light would be necessary. Yeah, yeah. Before you sat on the couch, you'd go, hmm, is there cum on this couch? <laughs> There's like semen on everything, like on his coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> and then you then wanted me oh, to go and hey. gallivant mm. and you get videos yeah. or see it in person. I never wanted to sleep with any other, anyone else. At all. I was always very much into you. Because you're, you're amazing. Oh, okay, you're, yeah, you're the best. <laughs> but it was you that initiated it. Yeah. You was the one who said you wanted to see me do it. And what man's going to sit there and say no? I then had my first taste of another woman, so to speak. I actually enjoyed it. But like now, and then if you go out on a or I'm out or whatever, you always sit there and say, well, look, if you do find someone... Yeah, if you want to. Semen. <laughs> in the milk. Yeah. <laughs> Is there semen in this? <laughs> you know we're going to trigger some fucking polyamory cocks on YouTube with oh, this Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this trad couple on YouTube. They're such prudes. Look at these Christian conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> we're not Christians. And we're not even that conservative. We're a little bit conservative. I just prefer not to be a human Petri dish. <laughs> she looks like she smells of impulse and ciggies. <laughs> and wine coolers. Yeah. You know those chicks? Yeah. That's it, really. Yeah. We have so much fun. Is there come on this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get over how the English people have the washing machine in the kitchen. Yeah, I know. It's because they've got no room. Mm, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Like, we enjoy each other's company. company. We have such so a... 
<laughs> a lot of people do sit there and think that it's cheating. a form of cheating, but it's not, because I don't do anything behind your back. Yeah, we hide nothing from each other at all, because there's no need. Like, I'd say there's more trust in this relationship than I've had with mm. all the others. I guess it's not cheating, is it? Well, it kind of is. Well, no, because the definition of cheating is doing something behind your partner's back. I wouldn't call it cheating because they, they're they both consenting to it and probably a little bit unhealthy in a marriage. Yeah. A long-term marriage, let's be real here. Do you think they're still going to be 60 and together? Probably not. No, because the whole thing about long-term relationships is that once you get to a certain age where you're not f***ing each other anymore, it has to be more than just physical excitement. Although old people do f*** a lot these days, don't they? Do old people f***? How mm. old do people f*** till? Like, can oh, you, like do 80-year-olds f***? I don't think so. Do you reckon they still like do a once-a-year thing at 80? Like Maybe, or? but it'd be like snail sex. Like... <laughs> You have to be so careful about breaking a, a hip or a pelvic joint. I wouldn't say I've never been jealous. I think that's just natural. But it's quite a nice feeling. Yeah. Even though it's jealousy, yeah. because at the end of the day, you know you're included, you know that you're coming home to me. You still know that that other person cares. Is on your fork. For you. Yeah. yeah. That's the typical cuck line. But you might have. 20 black guys, but at least you come home to snuggle with me. There's some weird mental gymnastics going on in these guys' heads, isn't there? What do you mean? Biologically, men aren't programmed to want to have to share their women with other men. Yeah, that's right. So, what's going on inside of their heads where they're, like, talking themselves out of this biological programming to accept it? I don't know. It's the opposite the other way, though. Like, men are programmed to f*** multiple women. Spread their seed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if a woman sluts around and she gets pregnant, she's stuck with a, a baby. Yeah, and she's out of action for nine months. Where a, a man could just, like, you know, f*** as many birds as he wants, move on to the next one and not even think about his seed spillage ratio. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want me to stop saying seed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it bothering you? It's, ma it's making me cringe, yeah. <laughs> Online judgment we've had. Well, oh, people nice. online have got all sorts of opinions, haven't they? <laughs> have you got a tramp stamp? Yes, I have. He doesn't want to marry you. You're just for yeah. a bit of fun. That was just a great bit one. Bit of fun. You just take it on the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and record it and send a video to my husband. <laughs> Oh, I love it when she takes it on the chin. It's just people not understanding. It got to you at the start. Yeah, you've got to have quite a thick skin. Yeah. It's not a thick skin, it's a thick membrane of seed. <laughs> oh, you, you were berating me for using the word seed. I know, you've got it in my head now. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't bother me because at the end of the day, we're happy. Yeah. And it, we is, have a great life. It, We're... It never, it's never bothered me at all. Everyone who does leave hate, no. they don't understand any of it. Educate yourself. Yeah. We have children. They're still fairly, fairly young. They're not at an age where it's a conversation that we need to have yet, but it's a conversation we will have with We'll them. have to have with the eldest soon. soon. So they do have children. It's always the problem with this sort of thing. That's where it just gets personal for me. Like, if you didn't like someone at school, that'd be the best thing to find out. Imagine the damage you could do with that. Yeah, having your own personal kinks and, you know, activities or whatever you get up to in the bedroom, that's one thing. It's when you're turning it into only... OnlyFans career and you're making what the fuck is this show you're making a show about it love don't judge love don't judge like there's gonna be like a4 printed pages of their mum being dicked put up in the toilet and shit multiple dicked they're gonna find this they're gonna realize there's probably semen all over the house that they've grown <laughs> up in it's like jesus has there been semen on my lego like on my <laughs> dolls like has there been semen on my Lego? <laughs> Probably semen all over the household I grew up in. From dudes, just random dudes. <laughs> Daddy was getting off to it. You're probably a lot more safe and conscious of your health in this lifestyle. When we first started, it was very much no kissing. Because for us, kissing it's is more intimate. intimate. What are those articles of clothing that they need to be blurred? Probably strap-ons or something. It's probably dildos sewn into it. <laughs> like, they're not just going to blur a G-string, are they? No, that's what I'm saying. It has to be some sort of sex toy. So we wanted that to just be for, Between for us. us. And then with your work, it then changed. changed. 
like so I was like, well, look, you do it at work, so I can't yeah. complain if you're doing it in a club. I'm not a stay-at-home mum, I'm working. I'm getting my fanny out. Brings home the bacon. Oh, it's part of your work. Like you're a sluzzer. It's very serious work. She has several staff meetings a day. <laughs> <laughs> my job consists of a lot of selfies. And then the rest of it is mainly just do a little bit of filming each day for OnlyFans. Sometimes I work with other creators. Matt's role in helping out is taking photos, videos. I love the industry. And I think it works really well with the lifestyle. That was one of her co-actors. She's about to get a dick in. Oh, is he at work? Where are the kids? I don't know, daycare, I suppose. They're in the garden. Well, they can't be over four, can they? Because they met four years ago. All right, kids, time to go outside and play in the playground. Mummy's got to do her work now. And she said before that they were just about ready to have a conversation with the older kid. Mm-hmm. And the older kid can't be older than four because they met four years ago. Unless there's, like, step children. Did they say that four years ago? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. So they want to have a, soon want to have a conversation with elders, so that probably means like five or six in their minds about her mummy's. Yeah. I mean, if it's if it's both of their kids. I mean, it might be like a leftover kid. So we're getting ready now for our other our couple friend to come round uh, from our singing community. We're going to have some fun with them. Yeah. Oh, so the car door closing symbolises she's just been railed. This is love. <laughs> to me, it's more of a feeling. Yeah, being happy. Yeah. Being happy with somebody. Being happy, having trust. What would you say to people that judge our relationship? Stop. Go f yourself. <laughs> I just can't get over the come on surfaces thing. That's, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, apart from my wife cheating on me, the come on surfaces is like the next problem. Oh, you'd just it's be... It's blue on everything. You'd be so. sus about every surface, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, every time she starches and irons a shirt for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the starch is amazing, honey. How do you get my shirt so stiff? We have so much fun in our life. It's hard to say whether we would go back to a traditional relationship because right now I would say no. No, I no, wouldn't. But all, when I'm but... old and wrinkly and I can't get another woman, I might have and to. Maybe. Yeah, she's going to fuck right off. She's going to fuck right off i can see it now because there's weird dudes out there that still like to fuck old women but the only way that young chicks want to fuck an old dude is if they're rich as fuck and i think he was a truck driver or something so he's not rich as fuck anyway that was fun we'll see you in the next one catch you later see ya Recession.